Good evening. Did you know that Ethiopia is one of the fast economy and at the same time, one of the poorest regions in the world, despite the fact that they are the leader producer of quality coffee beans? Did you know that 15 million Ethiopians rely on coffee production and 5 million of them live under the poverty line? Did you know that 25% of illiteracy rates come from rural areas and that more than 60 million citizens don't have access to clean water? Well, Oromia Coffee a cooperative has contributed since its launching to build 26 primary schools, 10 health posts and 86 water development facilities. Isn't that great? Our corporate strategy will further strengthen the social mission through new practices. This is why my teammate and I will be presenting this corporate strategy. Now moving on to, uh, to the outline. Here are the main parts that we're going to talk about. And then diving on to the company overview. Uh, Oromia is a company that was created the 1st June 1999 and that operates in the coffee industry uh, in the Oromia region, where the climatic conditions are very diversified and favorable for uh, the development of uh, many variety of coffee. Indeed, the company um, is involving in six different varieties, which include Jima, Hara, Nekemete, Sida, Molimu, and Dirgashifi coffee. Moreover, the company um, repres uh, contains 400,000 farmers that are uh, spread out in an area of 15,000 hectares and that produce 80,000 of coffee per year, which represents 65% in the national scale and which make them by far leader in the market. So uh, talking about their main mission, so their objective is to sell high quality product coffee uh, being directly to the end customers without going through uh, intermediaries and also to improve to improve farmers uh, household by making them generate more profits. As recently, uh, the company uh, was considered was certified to be the best uh, African company uh, in terms of uh, coffee production and in terms of quality and uh, taste. They have a different certification, including organic, fair trade, coffee practices, and rainforest alliance certificate that shows their high uh, quality product. They are considered also as the largest supplier of Starbucks, which is uh, the first coffee brand in the world or coffee chain in the world. Now, let's move on to talk about uh, the SWOT analysis. So the major strength of uh, the company is its production, 80,000 tons per year, and also they sell directly to the end customers. Um, one of the weaknesses is, uh, is, is the lack or, or uh, the weak negotiation power that they have. Instead, uh, the farmers earn only three cents in a five dollar US dollar cup, which is not good at all. There, are, there is also uh, a very low coordination between members, which affect the production. For the opportunity, because of the high uh, production, uh, they, can, uh, they can target a new market and also they can create their own coffee brand. As a trait, there is a high level of competition in the national and international scale. So concerning the competitors, there are three main competitors. Uh, talking about uh, the first one is Adolina Coffee, which produces 30,000 of a different variety of coffee per year. They have their own brand, which is Nil Blue, and uh, they produce 13% of the Ethiopian coffee export. Uh, concerning the second, the, it's a cooperative called Yerga Chifi Coffee that contains 38,000 farmers and that uh, focus mainly on the production on the Yerga Chifi uh, variety. Uh, they, have, they, they have a different uh, taste going from wine to fruit flavor. And finally, it's African agribusiness that is more involved with the uh, coffee in, uh, roasting industry and uh, plant processing. Um, they invent, invent a new technique that enable uh, beans to be packed just uh, right away uh, after harvesting. And they also have their own uh, a coffee brand which is Black Lion that is positioned as a premium coffee. Now we're going to move to the needs identification. Two major needs were, um, were derived from our comprehensive analysis. First, according to many sources, the members of the cooperative are communicating in a very inefficient way, as they still have to stop by the headquarters in order to meet each other or submit their requests and inquiries. This process is very tedious and time consuming. Second, farmers seem to derive very low profit from their production despite the high demand it has. So, boosting production will help increasing the negotiation power and consequently allow farmers to secure fair value for their coffee. 
Having this said, our uh, corporate strategy will target two main axes. The first one is improved coordination between the farmers, which will be the result of a forum functionality, part of a digital innovation. And the second is increased margins, which will be enabled by the drop copters that will be contributing to the quality and quantity of the production, in addition to reducing the electricity expenses, which will be provided by the installation of a, sol of a solar power plant, along with an energy management system. Moving to the innovation. To meet the needs that we discussed previously, we have developed a corporate strategy that will focus on increasing and integrating farmers and coordinating between them and improve their productivity, both in terms of quantity and quality. Our innovation relies on a web-based application that has three main modules. The first one is Farm Fluence Forum. The second one is the implementation of drones. And the third one is the Smart Grid and Energy Management System. Concerning the Farm Fluence, um, the Farm Fluence Forum. The forum we are developing is based on a web application connected to a database. This database gathers information about all the farmers. This platform allows the farmers to perform two main activities. First, they are allowed to share their advice and best practices about a lot of topics, namely fertilizers, pesticides, irrigation, and other, and other um, topics. Also, the farmers will have an online platform where to submit their requests and inquiries and also apply for loans. The application has two main actors, admin and farmer. Each of them has uh, a number of roles and privileges. Second, we have the implementation of drones. Drones are actually aerial vehicles that operate without pilot. They, were fir they first appeared in the military field, but they have now a lot of uses. We are using drones for both photography and artificial, in uh, artificial pollination. Drones will be used to take images from the field and make them available to farmers in order to monitor the state of the tree. This actually implies a quick intervention to save the product in case a problem is detected. Also, drones will be used to help and assist bees in the pollination process, which will ensure a consistent pollination throughout the entire field. Initially, the drones will cover 25% of the whole area and they will be made available to farmers with more than one hectare. Moving to the third module, which is Smart Grid and Energy Management System. Um, having a renewable energy source will help reducing the electricity expenses, of course. The energy management system will provide a great, intuitive, and easy to understand interface to monitor the energy consumed by the different appliances and also the energy produced by the solar panels. At first, we are starting with a solar installation that has a max production of 3K with the possibility of scaling it, of course. Now that we have presented the different functionalities of our innovation, the next element is the uh, financial feasibility. We believe that the initial investment to launch this innovation strategy is of about uh, $13,742,000. As our corporate strategy involves a software uh, application that includes three different functions, we will need $360,000 to develop the application. In implementing the second functionality, 20 drones will be acquired. Each of these drones costs $12,000, totaling uh, to an initial investment of $240,000 for this function. Uh, concerning the energy control systems, 2,000 solar panels will be installed. Photovoltaic installations of 3 kilowatt cost uh, about $6,571, which amount to $13,142,000 for this function. In developing the next projections, several assumptions were set up. We assume that all the cooperative members have the same productivity rate. We assume that the wages will grow at an annual uh, rate of 3% and that the various other expenses will grow at 2%. And finally, an increase of 2% in productivity per year from the sharing of good practices between farmers enabled by the forum functionality. With regards to uh, the productivity impact that the drone's functionality will have, we based our estimation on a conservative rate of 5%. For solar panels efficiency, we went on with an average efficiency rate of 30.5% and found that the energy management systems would generate average yearly economies of about $200,415. These elements were taken into consideration to develop the growth projections, 
along the five coming years. And we believe that by the third year, we will have increased our production by 5,219 tons, which, is, uh, which represents about $29 million in value. Considering all of these elements, the following financial projection uh, was developed. You can see that the innovation will be running at a loss in the first two years. Starting from the uh, third year, the innovation begins to generate profit. And to know how profitable we are, several indicators were computed. We can see that we will start making profits from our investments starting the 27th day of the first month in the third year. And that both the uh, net present value and the uh, internal rate of return are positive which indicates uh, the profitability and attractiveness of our project. Whilst the profit from launching our corporate strategy can be a crucial incentive, uh, a crucial incentive, it is also worth considering the potential ethical value that might be achieved from it. Our corporate strategy will promote environmental friendly practices by adopting solar energy and reducing paper-based interactions. It will improve life quality in the region of Oromia by creating 340 jobs and increasing the number of social and infrastructure projects carried by the cooperative union. And finally, pe people on the uh, national and international uh, level will know Oromia for its social and environmental practices. Now that we have covered all the, uh, the, the different elements uh, of our corporate strategy, we would like you to take a moment and think about the unfortunate reality of Ethiopia's farmers. More than one third of them are living under po the poverty line and with no access to education, health services, or clean water. Wouldn't it be great to improve their living conditions? Well, we believe our corporate strategy will do so. Not only will Oromia Cooperative Union generate more value for these farmers, but it will also allow them to brighter their future. Thank you for your time.